Well, a lot to report on. Um, as I said, sorry. As I said, I probably would not be able to um, kind of keep track of everything that was happening. I'm in a real big time rush. I actually leave tomorrow um, to go down to Port St. Joe area to go scalloping. I've been away for two weeks on the road working, which has really kind of crunched me out some, but that's the way it works. So um, here I am, got the motor on, uh, aluminum plate. You know, this is stuff I have at the house. I don't have a clue why, I just see it, I like it, I keep it. Um, it, was a, it was plate, I took it, I cut it off into shape, bent it, um, and then I had another piece I bent up over top of the transom, mounted the motor, through bolted it. You can see I'm just tearing the shit up with 25 horses. All right, maybe not, but that's the way it is. I built a center console to match. I mean, I just pretty much went in there and went, all right, what do I have here? Because I like that one. And um, so I built this one to match. I mean, it's identical. Um, that's got a better electrical system in it than this will. I did not spend the money on purchasing the stuff in that that I did this. So this is going to be kind of, you know, commercial cheap Chinese crappage. Um, but that's the way we're at right now. Fish Finder 320C Garmin. Sweet. All right. Got to tell you the truth. It's free. My brother discarded it and I took it. So it's going on the boat. Um, rigged up cleats, drilled through in flush rod holders. Never used this type before, but I'm giving it a run. Up, over, down, adjustable move. You know, we're gonna give these a try. Um, plastic, but I know that even though it's plastic, we make some of this stuff really tough nowadays so we're going with it it'll be good for sharking so i can adjust it however i want it all right so got two of those can't see it from here got a knife holder knife holder i used the screwdriver for oysters mounted that on the side over there bottle opener not that I would ever partake in any adult beverages while having fun fishing, but I have that there. And pliers. <clears throat> so, with all that being done, I leave soon. As I said, I still got to mount. I made this wood piece. I got to paint it again. Um, put my nav light on. And... I'm going to mount, hopefully, my trolling motor with the same setup that I have here, which is nothing fancy, but it works. So we're going to do that, but I don't have that material here. I have to go get it. As you can see, also, no front deck might make the trip without it, just the way it's going to work. Um, but I do want to mount my trolling motor because I love fishing areas that require that. And um, so we're gonna do that same thing, just kind of wedged up two by stock out of treated piece of plywood on top, mounted up, I already checked, it makes it. Now the issue is, looking at my trailer here, I'm thinking that when I'm in the water, with the trailer, I'm gonna hit it. Right in there. I made up a bracket to mount this bracket higher so it would carry the weight of the front of the boat. Um, if I raise the trailer, bunks, I will have to raise this up, which means I'll have to make a full bracket and all rest on this. I've decided not to do that. They gave me these wonderful holes from the factory. And since I am a redneck, my mom doesn't want to hear that too bad. I collect metal anytime I find it. So I've got this little nasty 
ass little pile of metal. What, what the hell am I going to use that for, right? Well, you already saw. I, uh, oh, by the way, that welder, um, I wish it was gas MIG, but it's not. I'm using flux core. Still works, so I can get a decent weld. Nothing great, but it works. So I took my scrap ass metal, excuse my language people, that's just the way I am, and I cut it out using a circular saw and composite blade. Ooh, it's heavy. And I fit it in here, welded these tabs onto it so I could bolt through. Feels like it's gonna work because I don't have it set right. Right about there it looks like. Nice. So there we go. Now I've had this. I'll spray it with cold galvanizing through bolt it here. Take this bracket from the front, move it back down here. And that way I think when I go to load this boat, I'll contact the front roller without being able to contact this. That's the game plan. We'll see if it works. But anyway, so that was my kind of explanation of what I'm gonna to do to the trailer. So the deal is, sometimes it's not about woodworking. It's, it's about making whatever work. So that's probably a 90 minute segment on, um, on finishing up trying to get going. So hopefully we can get some good video this weekend of some scallops. And uh, as you all know, I love sharking, so we're going to give that a shot. So, all right, check back in.